those voices? I've been here my entire life. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. music box. I, I have to get it. I have to... <sighs> Those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. It's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. It's a relief that I don't need it to walk anymore. Merveille du Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart, art teacher. I received a mysterious package at my house. I saw... Oh, I love this song. I received a mysterious package at my house. up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase.
was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? Hmm. I think I've overpacked. I'd always dreamed of traveling. It was not the same without you, Harry. I'd always dreamed of traveling. It was not the same without you, Harry. I'm definitely going to miss this bed. Falling asleep to the ship's rocking was delightful. Right now it's open. Harry Everhart, my husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. This strange and... I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. I've still got to pack up a few more things. Hmm. I think I've overpacked. Captain Hodgson has a very particular taste when it comes to decor. <laughs> what was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? After spending so much time reading this book, I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. Merveille de Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. I missed the sea so much when we moved to Denver. I've still got to pack up a few more things.
A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it. And some enigmatic instructions. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. The boat is ready. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. The letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, old pal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific. ...that the locals refuse to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This... this can't be a coincidence. Breathtaking, idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? There's definitely something strange about this place. Okay, Harry. Let's see if I can find any trace of you around here. A tent. So somebody was on this island recently. A miniature va'a. A Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautifully crafted, too. A note written in French. I only understand two words, ill and mort, island and death. It must be a warning about the dangers of the island.
Looks like it opens from the other side. I feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. That might come in handy. These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. Bone fish hook. Peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. What a lovely flower offering. A carving tool. This box. CW. Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. 
So why build such a big one? Hmm, something's missing here. Well, that did something. Hmm, something's missing here. Look what's hidden here. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing.